very good evening and welcome to the Predator Apex Wisconsin Women Open here at the Ho-Chunk Gaming and Hotel in Baraboo, Wisconsin. Our final match of today will be one of the quarterfinals between Margaret Fefilova Steyer and the Duchess of Doom, Alison Fisher. In the commentary booth for this match will be Dale Lawrence, aka Little Cheddar, and myself, Tim de Ruiter. How are you doing today, Dale? Very good evening. Uh, very well. Thank you, Tim. And I think we've got quite the matchup here. I, as I was talking to you earlier, uh, I, I've been playing pool since I've been 12 years old, and I have been following Allison Fisher for my whole entire life. My favorite female player of, of all. So this is this is a treat, and I don't want to say it right now, but I have to. You know, I play with Margaret all the time, so it's yeah. It's hard. I, I can't pick a winner here. I can't. Too personal. Too personal. <laughs> Oh, that's but why. But this is going to be exciting. That's this why you're in the commentary booth <laughs> because you, you're not picking sides. Correct. <laughs> okay, so break from the center, no ball, and I don't think that one ball goes to the side. Yeah, I think the five's got it a little bit covered. Well, if it doesn't go, I don't really see much safety opportunity. So then, I would most likely play a push, probably to the left bottom corner. I think she can see it by the way she's looking at it. Yeah, I just want, if I shoot this, I want to make sure it actually really goes instead of like, uh, maybe I can just sneak it in and then you miss and you leave it in the open. Oh, it went. It went. Oh. Good shot. A little steep on the two. Yeah, not sure if it's just okay on the two ball. Yeah, she can cut this in and run the cue in the 10. It's gonna, I was just about to say the same thing, Tim. I think it's going to run right into the 10 with a little bit of inside English. Probably a little bit of high right. She looks like she's queuing a little low, so maybe she's... Yeah, I was going to say, play in she's going to play safe. And oh, 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 oh. Don't go in there. Great okay. shot. Great save. Yeah, just... So she played a very good cue ball. The only thing I'm worried about is she could have done a little bit better at where she would leave the two. Where the two ended up, because I agree. Because now if Ellison hits the two ball, there's a big chance of making it's it. probably going in. It did snuggle up on the rail, but I still, yeah, 100%. If she does hit it. Well, now is the big question how she's going to hit it. So we are playing three races to four the set score is tied one each and the third set is tied three each we will go to the shootout to determine the winner and especially towards the business end of oh. Oh. especially during the business end of the tournament those shootouts they get extremely tense a uh, ton of pressure and I think I've watched seven or eight shootouts so far in the last couple of days and i'll tell you what it's well, it really, it's pressure packed it really gets it's fun the crowd going too like the crowd really like they hear oh there's a shootout on table two and you see this whole group of people they go whoosh straight to that table yep i like that you know it's funny you can actually hear the crowd talking oh there's a shootout on table four you know hurry up get over there I like the shootouts, just not when I play. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any of the pros really like shootouts. Well, everybody's dealing with it. That's the main thing. I mean, it's like I don't like to shoot a super long, tough cut. But, you know, if you get one, you, you're shooting it. Like It's, it's going to come up. Yeah. At, at some point in time, it's going to come up. So get used to it. Actually, working with Tyler up at the Varsity Club in Oshkosh, um, that's that's how he tells me how to practice is work on the shots that you hate why work on the shots that you're comfortable with that yeah. doesn't make any sense yeah very true so that's that's one of the the best thing he's done for amateur you know teaching so and he's a good teacher so first opportunity for Margaret Steyer of course she's already had the opportunity with the one ball earlier but 
with ball in hand, I would say that's a bigger opportunity than she had. Indeed. Now, two rails. No, one rail to go to the six. Ran a little bit further than she would have liked. Will be a little bit awkward placing her bridge arm around the a nine, nine and eight. I think she's probably going to draw probably a, a little bit of low left and draw it over to just kind of pull it back and play the seven in the side where the cue ball is. Might just roll forward as well. Yeah, I think I like the stun. I, I like if the stun If you want to go well. forward, you're going to shoot it harder, which will make the six a little bit tougher to make. Potential rattle. Yeah, the speed. Yeah, I like Perfect. this. Straight in here, straight on in on this eight ball would not be a bad place to be. It almost frees it on the rail. So Tim, what did you think of the filler styer match? Um, yeah, it was obviously filler blade, a really good tournament. So that's on the side. Like, there's not many people in this building that were gonna beat him, unless he played a little less and the other guy played really good and then Tyler did have the opportunity to have a good start and miss that 10 ball and after he started to get in a little slump and that was yep. you know not nice to see but then filler starts to run as well he feels that someone just made a big mistake he feels someone is weak and that's usually where he starts to blood in the water go crazy yeah yep. so I mean they don't call I, him killer throw uh, filler for you know, no reason. Yeah, he's, he smells blood, and that's well, it. it. It was a great match to watch. If you have not seen it, I'm sure they will come up on YouTube. Yeah, I don't get, know when, but get over and check it out. Yeah, make it's, sure. It, it, it's a good. Oh, it's good match. Yeah, I, th I think it's actually already available. So make sure you check out the Probate Series YouTube channel. All right, Margaret, Margaret for game number one. Nice run out, nothing crazy, which is exactly the thing she has to do. Don't want to be making crazy shots all the time and letting the cue ball go everywhere. And basic and simple is the way to go. Mm -hmm. So referee Jeff Easier said McGee. than done. Yeah, yeah, always, yeah. Jeff McGee wrecking the balls for Margaret to break. Let's see if she chooses to break from the side or from the center. I like. I have seen that Tyler has been breaking mainly from the side. Ball and a half off the rail. Yep. Yeah. So I'm guessing Margaret is going to do the same. But yeah, you never know because yeah. if the table breaks really good from the center, don't stick with the thing you like. Go, go switch. You know that's. Yeah, and if you look at the the style of Margaret and Tyler. They are almost identical. Everything that they do, their pre-shot routine, everything is the same. Well, she did really cut wow. that cue ball, almost scratched, but... Pocketed the ball. And look at position on the one ball. Big draw stroke coming up, most likely. Yeah, hit that a little thin. I'm sure if she breaks later during this match, Sure, she's gonna try to hit a little thicker, but for now, of course, you're taking the opportunity right as it comes. So, big shot. Three is in a spot of bother. What side do you draw to? I think I'm gonna try and go in between the nine and the two. Agreed. Go r use the rail, play with a little bit of right spin to help the cue ball, and then yeah, just like this, but not enough juice on the cue ball. Well, if she does decide, I, uh, that bank is not on. Safety coming. Try to stick Allison right between that nine and 10. And mission accomplished. Well, that bump on the 10 ball might have cost a three. Yeah, she's blocked the three ball now, so we might be in for a lot more safety play. Be a safety game here. I don't believe that three nine goes. Yeah, 
of difficult this. I think I would go two rails. To, short the, to the bottom first? Yeah, short rail first. Long rail. Try to hit the inside. Then at least you can get that spread. Maybe have the seven or the six involved. Maybe get the two behind the six. Or if you hit it thin, you get the cue wall behind the seven. Like, there's some options. And these ladies are so good at it. As... Ooh. Oh. I, I'm not even going to say what I was going to. <laughs> it, but I've watched, you know, there's so many junior players that have been here all week long. Uh, Killer Killer P, um, Kinsley. Uh, the way that girl kicks, um, it's not just hitting the ball. It's hitting a certain part of the ball to make sure that the cue ball goes somewhere else. And I mean, they're so specific. Yeah, but that, that's also the way to go. It makes no sense to kick at a ball without knowing With what hope. side you want to hit. Or like if, if there's no future to it, why are you doing it? Right. You can't do it with a hope and a prayer. So opening up the three. Oh. And, well, she did She's not, okay. She did not scratch, but it didn't really open up in a really great manner. Now, she can play the safety behind the 10 and then the, send the three ball to the center of the table. Mm-hmm. It would be nice to double them up so you don't leave any jump shots and all that. Yeah, I think she's got uh, there. I think she's all right. And she's going to have to kick off the long rail, probably two rails, unless there oh, is I'm there might be a window. She could. There yeah, is a window. Oh, is she, you can see it. She kind of nicked the ball. That cue ball is probably going to end up all the way down where her hand is now, or she's trying to. Oh, Ooh, wow. But it caught the seven. Yeah, no, it still, still turned still, out okay. Yeah, the, the main thing was hit the three ball, don't sell out. Well, that's what she did. Mission accomplished. That was super thin. That's not something I like. I need to go practice if I follow Tyler's <laughs> advice no I mean those shots are we all know how scary they get speaking of Tyler wow what timing Tim well they always watch each other's matches I'm not uh, really surprised that yeah he's there oh. okay quite, quite surprised that she committed to make the three ball because that was tough she was also not going to really get a nice shot on the four after it was always going to be long and quite the angle All right, Allison Fisher's first trip to the table with not kicking at a ball. Coming up a little long. Not too bad. Very manageable. Probably. Yeah, well, she, she could also run into the seven here. If I she, was just thinking. If she's got that angle, I think she does. Just a friendly bump. Don't hit it hard. Just a little, little bumpy bump. Yep. Actually worked out really good because it kicked the seven right next to the pocket. Yeah, so less movement. Yeah, I think we could really have a very close match here tonight. I'm hoping so. I'm sure all the viewers do too. It's always fun when it goes hill hill. Yeah, I like it more to watch a match which is really close than to see one guy or girl play really good and the other one struggles and it's like an with easy win right with good play from both opponents yeah so probably end up at the side pocket right on the bottom of your screen well where it was running a little bit long but a good angle yeah, she's pull it, pull it back to the rail and play the nine in the same pocket where the eight's going. The the main thing is also that she's pretty close to her work, because if she had this shot on the longer distance, then this eight ball is pretty tough. Now, you would most likely, yeah, favor her to make this. Is that where you see a lot of amateurs go wrong, where they're they're so shy of getting too close to their work? because it's happened so many times before that, you know, they stay back a little further and they're leaving themselves with that long shot, which... Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes they're like, well, I'd rather just be on something than, than I run out of position. I'd rather 
run out of position because I was trying to do the right thing instead of settling for a 20% shot and never do the right thing. Agreed. It's the same. I'd rather take a long shot with the correct angle than really close to my work with the wrong angle. All right, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, one each, and they definitely settled down because both runouts was good cue ball work. No. Good safety battle. Yeah, good safeties. Yeah, good cue ball. I like it. Always so focused. Nice to watch. For a couple of years, also played the, the. We have the Euro Tour, and it's usually is a men's and a women's event. But sometimes we didn't have a women's event on the same location as the men. So then if Margaret was available, she would also play the, well, we, we say men, but it's the open, mm -hmm. the open event. And she actually, I think she got a couple times really close to qualifying for the single elimination stages. Like that's beating, like that's finishing top 50, top 40 players in a 200 player field. Impressive. That's Pretty tough to do. Very impressive. Allison coming up dry, leaving Margaret with a shot at the one. Potentially a 2 9 combination after that. She is queuing over that 4 7, though. This is not an easy shot at all. And then to have the finesse to get on that two ball as well, because that need really needs some special touch. You ain't kidding. Margaret growing up in Belarus, and uh, her parents, actually her mom, managing a pool hall in Belarus is where she cut her teeth on the game. She's got a very interesting story of how she started playing pool. Yeah, she's been around for a while. Do you play this one hard or soft, Tim? No, quite soft. I might just let the cue ball stun up to the five ball, like that kind of speed. I don't really have to get on the, up, like hit the rail and out. She even could hold the cue ball better. Called it I perfect. I think that four ball does go to the bottom right corner in this view. Mm -hmm. If not, that is definitely the key shot in this rack. She's going to end up a little straight here. Yes, she is. That's a little flat. And usually you would say, well, then play position for the bank on the four. But banking the four is not going to result in having something on the five. Probably not. Unless you start to do more on the bank. And it's and like what you were talking about before, Tim, is going crazy. You don't yeah, want to. Yeah, yeah stay away. Take it, yeah, take it really simple. And I think she could go forward two rails. Miss the six, go long rail, short rail, back to the center of the table. She can beat that kiss on the six. Ooh. Yeah, she caught that a little wide, and is that Cuba going to end up? Kind of in the middle. Probably leaving Allison with a bank on the three. Tough cut in the side. Yeah, I think the spin threw the cue ball off. That's on the new cloth. She might roll this in the side, though. If you don't make it in the side, then... Oh, she was playing safety defense, yeah. Oh, she is leaving Margaret with... Oh. Oh, I'm jumping I'm this. I'm jumping this in yeah. a heartbeat. Yeah, so is Margaret. The Predator air rushes out. And especially because there's just a small edge of the five ball is covering it. So you don't really have to elevate crazy much. And it has a small angle going towards a short rail and possible running into the temple, which mm -hmm. could end up Might end nice. up a good result. Oh, close. Still okay. And that cue ball might get behind the A. That didn't miss by much. Oh, it didn't get behind the wow, A. Wow, it ended up on the other side.
safe behind the 10. Yeah, if she can bank the three ball over and beat the kiss, that's quite the challenge here. Yeah, get that cute. Yeah, she was other, playing it the other way, way around. Which this is did not result in a save. That's usually a pretty difficult shot. Most of the time when people play the shot, the cue ball is too slow. Just because they're trying to have the three ball go to the long rail and stick there. So they're so focused on getting the three somewhere that the cue ball is mm -hmm. most of the time too slow. Well, I'll tell you what, there's no way I'm going to correct Allison Fisher ever. No matter what. So. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean. <laughs> what she does is... The Holy Grail. It's well, also what people don't have to underestimate is that they are playing with a shot clock, 30 seconds per shot, and they only have one extension. One extension per round. So, and imagine playing so many safeties to where you can have maybe two or three awkward shots. Well, then it's pretty tough. People really do not understand that playing the shot clock can be very tough. Yeah, and when you hear that, and you we've seen it in so many matches already, when you hear that buzzer go off and you haven't shot, or, you know, when you've got five seconds left and that clock is ticking down, all of a sudden, now i got to do something. So yeah, I've seen so many people, they would line up and they look like, like, like the, they were never going to miss a shot. And then just before they were pull the trigger, that beep goes on and you could see their body shake. Like, oh, yep. what's going on? And miss the shot. i got to hit it. And then completely just... Not even get close. It's the beauty of the shot clock. It's all experience. Nice shot on the three ball. Especially a good job because she was there was a high chance to get stuck on the long rail, mm -hmm. which would make it tougher to get to the five. Very ball. hard queuing. Now she can draw back one rail. Oh, she might play just stunned with left. Oh. <gasps> And then again, she played with the left spin. The left spin is throwing the four ball more to the outside. To the right, and she missed it. She, she missed it right. Oh, she oh, she missed it left. So didn't oh, cut, yeah. didn't cut it enough. But not leaving Allison with much of anything. Here. Yeah, she is missing. Quite fortunate so far, which can change in a heartbeat. If Allison go the other way. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, she still did have extension. I was not sure if she had one. That's usually where the drama <laughs> comes in. <laughs> Getting behind the six. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Oh, she wanted just a little bit of roll on oh, that but six ball, but this is tough. I mean, but how that four ball got together with the ten? She, she's a little bit unlucky not to get that extra oomph on, on the, the rail from the six. Yeah. But that four ball really got tough. I think I would kick this two rails with a quite soft speed. You're just going to bump the four ball to the long rail and hopefully get the cue ball behind the ten. Oh. Yeah, I think she was trying to go three rails and catch the edge. Ball in hand, Alison Fisher, and you know, being where the four is, and having the seven ball there, I don't even know if this is such the easiest shape to get to the five. Well, it looks like she's and playing she, safe again. Yeah, she obviously she agrees. This is this is tough shape to get. Well, down she, the table. she could put the cue ball on the short side, shooting the four ball in the bottom right corner, but then it would be extremely tough to get on the five. Mm -hmm. Now, this is pure class, because if you look at the cue ball, how she stick the cue ball right, like, flat on the on the ten ball. Oops, she's blocking either the left side or the right side long rail. Forcing Margaret to kick two rails. Yeah, minimum. Just, minimum. Basi just basically on how she did stick the cue ball, which most of the people, they would be a little bit more to the right or to the left. And now they are just giving the opponent a yeah, better out. So this is two fouls and a nice layout for Allison to work with. Do you go for the third foul and hook her behind the eight or just run it out? No, it's it's open table. It's too I easy. 
Yeah, and also all the balls are in the open. It's not like, of course, she could play behind the eight, but now if she doesn't play the cue ball perfect, then she might leave the one rail and uh, leave her Margaret. If then, then most of the time she'll see Margaret will hit it and then leave not so much, and then you get the whole struggle with the safeties again. When the opportunity comes, you got to go for it. Mm -hmm. Perfect angle to draw. Actually, she wants to end up almost where the cue ball is now, but maybe a little bit further off the rail. Right about there. Oh, huh. yeah. She's, she's. I got one right, Tim. Yeah. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> no, I mean, she, she's good here. Maybe, yeah, if, if you really want to be picky, you could say. She would have wanted a little bit more. But she can stun the cue ball off the rail. This is not a very tough shot in any means. Does it look like she's going forward? It is. Yeah, and I think that was a I little bit surprising. I don't understand I thought why. If she could have went maybe half a diamond or a diamond out, that eight ball is already okay. This is a good. This is a big tester, though. This, this is, is a difficult shot. You aren't kidding. This is seven feet just Do to get to the eight ball. Those are the awkward shots we were talking about about the Tyler thing mm -hmm. and this is going to take one heck of a good draw yeah and that is that is a direct result of not playing like yeah like we had just said yeah she leaving her she left herself very long obviously just by running into the tent yeah but she, she tried to do a little bit more on the seven where i think it was not necessarily needed but this you know this is still a tough shot she might get another chance what a shot or not <laughs> she hit that great so looks like Things are gonna go Margaret's way here. If she makes a temple, she takes the lead. Right. Yeah. Two one. Two one in favor of Margaret. Yeah, it's always a little bit of give and take. You're always gonna give a little bit here and there, like your opponent is gonna give back. Like that's you, just you how. The, well, most of the time, that's how it goes. Like people are always thinking about playing that perfect set of pool, but in reality, most of the players they make one or two mistakes anyways during a set. It's funny that didn't work out for me at all this week <laughs> in in any of my matches, Tim. But yeah. Because it was all taking by my opponent. Oh, you know. oh okay. I was, I was giving. You know, they were taking. But that happens. Yeah. I'm just going to quit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Working with Tyler some more. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see on the break. Let's see if she can hit a little bit thicker. She had it really thin earlier. Oh, almost that same ball in the corner, but now... And I noticed too, these three balls that are in the middle of the rack, like two out of the three racks so far, or four racks, those three balls have been staying right there. Well, the reason why is because she's hitting it really thin at the moment. So the power is not really transferring to all the other balls in the rack. That makes sense. Don't get on oh, that six. That's Don't hit this. Uh oh. That's not a friendly bump. Mm mm. So it looks like Allison is probably going to thin the right side of the two and try to get maybe between the nine and the three. I don't know. I was thinking this maybe. This is not an easy If safe. she can play a small messe, catch a half ball, send the two ball to the center of the table and bring you the cue ball behind it. You called it. She's jacked up on it. So. Oh, needs a two ball to go. Uh -oh. Caught it just a little bit too thin. 
So Margaret could either play this one on the side and try to avoid the 5-10 down there. But she's probably going to have to play the 3-9 combo if she elects to do that. Could play it all the way down in the corner, but that's a risky shot as well. I think I'm playing it on the side to take my chances on the next. Well, needs to avoid a 5-8-10 as well. Mm. I think I would have went for the corner just because I wouldn't know how to go around these three balls. Now she will need a good shot because she's opening up the key shot of this rack. That 3-9 was the toughest ball in this rack. Well, and that clump of the 5-8-10 was something that she could have used for adva her advantage as well. And now that's kick on the three and the rest, is it, rest of the rack is open. Going one rail, trying to catch quite full ball. Oh, well, she's left it open. Probably a draw right back into where the 10 is sitting. Play the four in the side. Or she could roll forward and play the four all the way down. And it looks like she is electing what I said first. Good shot. Might catch a little piece of the seven, but that's quite all right. That'll leave her the good angle on the five to get to as the six. As long as that bump on the seven is on the right side. And make sure that she's not glued to the rail. Mm. There's the bump. And half a ball out from the rail. Not bad. Yeah, and a good angle on the five. Can go one rail back to the center of the table. Wasn't really gonna matter how she would end up on the six. If she ran a little bit further, she could go one rail. If it was straight, she could draw back. She's always gonna have the angle to get to the seven. Yeah, now she could even go forward two rails. A Little bit of a reach and having to avoid the seven so she does not touch it because it is all ball fouls. Okay, well, she has left a longer seven ball though. Cloth that was thick. Well, is she queuing over this 10 ball? Because that gets a little nervy, though. She hit the 7 a lot thicker than what she had hoped. That could have stayed on the table. Yeah, and she has been playing some good cue ball, like every time in the beginning of the rack. Like she's running out and cue ball control, everything fine. And then she gets to the 7, 8, 9, 10. And these kind of shots start good to shot. get a little bit strange sometimes. Mm -hmm. But this is a good recovery shot. Probably going to draw out of this one. Over to the rail, obviously, to get herself straight onto the 10. Just like so. So to level the score. To each. What a crowd we've had here this week. I mean, this for obviously you look at the camera, and this place has been packed. Well, and also what I really liked is obviously with Tyler getting far into the tournament. Now Margaret being far in the women's open. I think it's been really cool because there's a lot of local people that are wanting to see them perform against the best in the world. 
this is such a treat for Wisconsin having this here. And I was talking with Amy Keene earlier, and it was th this is the, like the pinnacle of pool for Wisconsin having this happen right here in our back door. Yeah, but then to have someone that lives here as well and to be getting that far in the tournament, it's right. just already. Like it's cool to experience for me as an outsider. It's cool to experience this too because it means that you know, like the local fans are really involved in what's going on too. Yeah, and having the Styers make it as far as they have, it's just another incentive to come on down and watch. Okay, so first time Allison is breaking from the side rail. She's done breaking from the center trying to probably duplicate what Margaret is doing. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see a little more square hit to make the one in the side. Oh, there Pushes goes past, one ball. but makes the eight ball. And I don't think the one ball goes, but at least she's got the initiative to do something. She could- Safety co between the four and the five. Push, it, push the one between the four and the five and get the cue ball down here. Yeah, I was thinking the one and two to five. That too. And then the cue ball close to the short wheel behind mm -hmm. the six. Just a soft roll. Maybe the, oh, she's playing the other way around. Ooh. If she took That's away the, if she had taken away the, the kick from the short rail, the kick and stick over the short rail. Then this is a very tough one to hit. Really tough. She may actually have to mass a little bit around the four. Which would not be too nice with the spin to open up towards the one. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's the only thing that she left her though. If she's got the gap, I'm playing with a lot of draw to stick the cue ball behind the two. Oh. Well, I mean. That's not a bad result. She played it a conservative way. Yeah. Just make sure she hit it thin. And like you were saying, Tim, that actually that could have ended up a lot worse. That's not bad. Allison probably going to thin the left side of the one ball and bring the cue ball potentially hide it right behind the nine, but get it all the way down table. Leave her long. She's gonna get cover behind the nine. That would I make everything so is. much better. Wow, what a shot. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's some good stuff. Talk about cue ball control. Yeah, she hit that good and now I think the one real kick is blocked by the two. Mm -hmm. Unless she's gonna go maybe further and then we draw like trying to bend the angle. But it's difficult. She's now looking at two rails. That's that's, that's also that's also only the full ball hit on the one. There's not too many things that can go great. If you look at from this angle, she's gonna arrive going from here towards the one. Very small window. I think a little bit softer. That may have bounced a little bit more towards the one. That was pretty hard hit, stiff. Yeah, it was a tough shot. It was a very strong shot from Allison Fisher. Mm -hmm. And that opens up that little mess that was down there for Allison to get out. Yeah, this is a big rack. Oh, wait a second. Has she forgotten that the Did two ball she was there? She forgot about the two ball. Oh, she's called the seven. Yeah, she just realized. Oh my. Oh, that's not something you get to see every day. She. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, she. She has a little smile. Too. It's it's funny because Allison's laughing at herself right now. Uh, she completely forgot the two ball was there. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I mean, like I said, this doesn't really happen very often, and yeah, the shot clock also made her rush this. And. Did not leave her a clear shot. Yes. Is her okay shot? <laughs> Just that's something you expect. I believe I'm going to have to give uh, the Duchess of Doom a little, little bit of ribbing, maybe a li little <laughs> later. What were you I thinking there? 
<laughs> I am wondering what was going through her head. Uh, she's laughing at herself. Uh, that's all that matters. Oh, nice separation. And stuck on the 10, close to it. Allison probably going to thin the right side. <laughs> and there's Allison pointing at her forehead. What was I thinking? Hit it thin. Oh, she plays these shots so well. She sure does. This is not the first one she's hit. And, and only oh. missed by a half a ball. I mean, yes, she has left the cut shot on the two. But still, I've seen people hit that shot so thick that they sold out instantly. Where, where the two sitting right in the pocket. Yeah, and now you're still going to make the two and go back and forth or at least get to the center of the table to be able to cut the three into the seven. I think she's going to hit this medium stroke a little bit firm. Two rails all the way down and back. And oh, there we she go. hit that good, though. Very good. Now the key is to make sure that you control your cue ball to be able to play the three after the combination, if she elects the combination. I'm assuming she will. I am thinking about either running into the five, the five. or the nine, and the three ball will most likely stay mm -hmm. around the corner pocket there. Well played. Yeah. Turned out great. Now the six ball is big. Try to get to right dead center of the table. Don't want to get involved with that six. Oh, she's lost the cue ball a bit. She's going to be okay. Well, yeah, and that was a, kind of a direct result of having that eight inch extension on the back of her cue and having to reach full table. It always tends to make you hit the ball just a little bit harder than you yeah, need to. Yeah, it's less smooth. Mm -hmm. But she's got perfect on the four. It's almost straight, and the only thing she's got to do is follow to the center of the table. She's got it. Not ideal. Straight draw. Yeah, it's just, I have a feeling she's got the small angle to where she wants to stay away from the rail. I think she might be going a little bit towards it. Might have to force it a little. Just draw back one ball and make sure you play the stop shot on the six. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah the, the she does have the angle, though. That's, uh, this is tough. Yeah, it's just... Might have to float this one in. No, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting at the speed that I get to the long rail and back out. Because the really soft speed is also a scary stroke. And the main thing is get straight on the nine anyways. Oh, yeah. And yeah, that was... This is just because she... On the rail. Yeah, I thought if she could draw back a little bit on the five and stay away from the rail and just take a longer six and straight, then I'm pretty sure she can make that shot a little easier than shooting off the rail. Mm -hmm. And that's a big, this is a big game. Yeah, this is to get this on, the, gets hill, you on so the hill. This back and forth, Allison shooting position for the wrong shot, and then now Margaret missing the six ball. It's a big twist in the event, this big turns. All right, it looks like Allison is going to be on the hill first. Three to two, Allison Fisher, and yeah, so far, so dense. Back and forth. Jeff McGee wrecking the Predator Arcos two balls. Allison Fisher to break the balls, break it from the side. Last time she's made one ball on the break, I believe. We'll be looking to do the same. 
Duchess of Doom. Break and run for the first set. And this is coming up dry. Where is that four going to? Ooh, that even made it easier for Margaret. Yeah, if you look, the one, two, three, and four. All at the bottom of the table. Oh. I think also the five, by the way. Three came down here. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five mm -hmm. up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the other end. But That's that weird. six ball is a little bit tough to get on. Good shot. Didn't want to be on the rail, but that's okay. All he had, she has to do is soft roll this in. That leaves her with a good angle on the three. Softly drop it in and go two rails from the three to the four. Yeah. Yeah, she could play the four on the side. Just she will have to play some speed to get from the four to the five, and those side pockets can be quite tough when mm -hmm. you start to play with more speed. I think that's what she's eyeing up, though. She leaves herself on the bottom side of the four. It's, it's not too hard to get to the five from there. She could draw with some right spin, just get to the center of the table and take the cut mm -hmm. on the four. Mm -hmm. It's either that or go twice the long reel to get a little straight on the four. <gasps> oh, don't do that. Oh, no. That was a result of straight draw instead of using just a little bit of left. Or right, sorry. A little bit of right hand spin. Yeah, just a tad too low in the cue ball, I think. Uh, yeah, and it she forced the cue ball into the rail so fast that it didn't the spin did not take yeah so this could give alice in the first set yeah and that's i was considering maybe drawing and taking the cut on the four just to make sure you don't really lose the cue ball like that and mm -hmm. well she did get a little straight on the four i though. think this is a two rail draw though uh, did get a little straight on the five. I'm on sorry. the five. Yeah. I think she's going to have to load up on low left. Oh, no. She is going three rails. Well, maybe just stun. Stun straight no. over. But it's Never really mind. sensitive in speed and... Hit it good. Wow. Hit it really well. Yeah, that was a tough shot. Now, can she stay away from the ten? Doesn't want to bump the ten in front of the seven. Nope. Yeah, I think she could just stun it over. That's the great thing about pool. Everybody plays it different. You know, nobody nobody plays exactly the same. I usually don't play the correct way, which is why I'm in the booth. So two rails forward. Trying to get straight on the A. Did dip a little bit on that shot. Didn't really go nice and smooth on the top spin. And jacked up over the ten ball. Not real close, but... Oh, you know, making the eight, I, I completely believe that's going to happen. But where is she going to get to play the nine? Would you draw this and play the nine in the side? I might play with... Ins no, not with inside, no. I don't know. This is this not... Is, like I said, this is kind of like, where do you go to? Yeah, this is not a gimme. It's, it's pretty much a gimme on the eight, but shape is going to be a little challenging. You could play with inside and just play it hard and make sure you get out of the the back of the 10. She's playing up and down, I think. The 10 became a big ball. Oh, oh, oh needs a bump. She got it. Yeah. A little fortunate there. And that's going to win her the set, I think. Oh, she's going to mass say on this. Yeah, let's pull it back up. Yep, there we go. All right, this first set number one for the Duchess of Doom. Yeah, nice hit. Of course, a lot of danger for a foul. Don't want to double hit the cue ball. 
nine ball. So, and in it goes. So, Alison Fisher yeah, steals this set. Could have been closer. Stolen is a good word, actually. Yeah, That's so she wins the first set, four to two. And we'll go for a little break. We'll be right back. Back to the Predator Apex, Wisconsin Women's Open. And we'll go for a couple <laughs> highlights from the first set. This was the first game. Nicely and controlled. Also a good shot to get perfect on this combination. Very nicely controlled as well. She played that exactly as you called it. Oh, and this was where Allison let her, let her go a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's when Allison missed that eight ball. Yeah. Nice shot queuing over the ten ball. Good okay. cut down the rail. Yeah, and this is where Margaret let Allison go a little bit. This was on two each. And this is the last wreck where she got a little bit awkward on that eight ball. She managed to scrape through with this nice messe. So we are back in the arena and we are ready. Ready to go. Set number two. Let's get on to set number two. So before we start this set, we would like to thank our sponsors, of course, real fast. We got Predator Apex Stable, of course, with the Predator Group. Q Sports International CSI League, of course, with the state championships on the background. We have our US Pro Beard Series partners, Medaya Light, Rums of Puerto Rico, and Kamui Tips. Or just Kamui, actually, not yeah. just tips. Everything. Mm -hmm. So, Allison. Uh -oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, 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 and it spins into the side. Allison started in the first set. That means Margaret gets to start in the set after that. Scratched on the break, and. Margaret has a little grin on her face because she know that was a big mistake to start set number two. Yeah, and it barely dropped though. Because there was a little outside spin on that. So when it hit the point, it didn't really want to go, but it was already too deep. We're going for three foul here. Well, and I think the main thing why she... She didn't freeze her on that five ball. Yeah, but I think I'm not too worried about that. I'm more worried about where she has left the one. Because if she had tucked that one in between the 10 and the two, for example, then it was going to be a real big trap. Mm -hmm. Now Margaret can go two rails or three rails. That's her lucky thing. <laughs> I mean, can't really call it lucky, but. Yeah, if she was stuck between the five and the seven, she was in jail. Oh, ooh. oh and. Uh oh, oh, she's lucky that 10 came out as far as it did, but. I don't believe Allison is going to elect to play the 110 combination. She may. But that is a very precise cut. Yeah, pretty fortunate there. 
Yeah, that could have sat right in the pocket. But then again, well, I don't know why Allison's not shooting the one and then the no. two and shoot the four ten. This is the third foul. So yeah, also, yeah. She's, she's going to hide her between the five and the seven. I was going to say, if going from the two to the four is not too difficult, and she can play the four ten to win. So, But, of course, I understand. This is also a little mental game they're playing yeah, too like for sure she knows she's gonna hurt margaret a little bit more and this is gonna tie up pretty bad oh that is a oh, good nope. oh she it's left her a window i thought it was gonna stick there is a window she is on two falls and three falls would mean loss of game so three falls in a row obviously She's Margaret going. does not see this, that she has a window. Wow, I don't know it what's is a, happening It right is here. a clear window between the six and the seven. Oh, no. Well, and that is oh. the third foul, correct? Scratch on the break. She's missed the last. Yeah. That is the third foul. Yeah, I mean, some okay safety play from... Elsa Fisher, but I am actually quite flabbergasted that she did not see that window. Well, that's one apiece then. All right, Allison leading one to zero in set number two. I do not remember Allison winning one of these events yet. I do remember she has said somewhere like it is going to happen somewhere <laughs> one day. So. <laughs> I feel she really is energized enough to say, I am going to win it's a U.S. Pro Bated Series event. It's the only event that she's never won, I'm assuming, because she's pretty much won everything else, at least once. I believe nine-time world champion, correct? Player of the year for, I believe, 13 or 14 years, that's pretty hard to top. Yeah, she's had a long career, but then also in different disciplines. She's also played snooker, English Started billiards, out, yeah. which you can really see on her technique. Like she really has a snooker technique and then later adjusted to where she also can do the long stroke shots and everything. So there's a combination of both. There is snooker and pull in that technique, which is quite rare to be honest. Mm -hmm. And she definitely has that snooker stance. So no ball on the break. She's not left anything on the two, on the one ball. Well, Margaret has got her work cut out for if she wants to get back into this match. Yeah, I feel momentum is completely at Allison's side at this moment. Also a little bit based on body language and her facial expressions. Like mm -hmm. she, she looked a little bit exhausted in some way. Like just when she missed a kick, she walked to the chair and she just, yeah. Of course, it's long days. It's not the first day they've been playing. They've all been here since Tuesday. The so. Some matches have been taking very long. So sometimes she might have played a match delayed you know like it, it could be a pretty rough week it wears on you yeah that's also something that really people forget to think about Ooh, that one leaked out and oh. i think it's gonna sit right in the pocket oh yeah it's time for margaret to go here I think a third set would be fun. I don't believe Allison agrees with that, but I think our viewers probably would. All right, good shot. Yeah. She's on the bottom side of the two, so she can play that in the side, draw over to the rail to play the three. The only thing I'm wondering when Allison played, tried to play that safety, did she tie up that seven ball enough? Yeah. From this view, it looks like it goes. But depending on how you get there, like if you can get perfectly straight on it, I think you're fine. Having an angle towards the nine can get scary on it. That is a good point. 
little bit flat. So I think she's probably going to have to follow all the way down and play the four on the side. She might be able to play two reels. Yep. Not Agreed. pounding the cue ball, but just softly, a little bit of spin to get it off the short reel. A little bit of left-hand spin. Just like so. Good angle probably to come one rail and out and play. I don't know. Jim, does that five go past, past the six? No. No, I don't think so, based on what we see here. So, but she can still go with inside. Play just soft, top spin, some inside. Just barely hit the rail so it crawls towards the five. You don't really have to get super close to it. Just make sure you have it. Just well, like she, that. Well, she did not play the inside and still so good, so. Sometimes you gotta take the medicine. You cannot always play to get super cute on your next shot. Mm -hmm. Take what the table gives you. Yep. I mean, we all want straight in stop shots or like super easy shots. But Balls are round. Yeah. They roll. Doesn't happen. Things happen, yeah. Yeah, they barely, rarely do you get straight on the whole game. And this is the shot you were talking about, Tim. This is six to the seven. She has got to get. If she can get to the long rail where the six, uh, where the seven ball is, I think she that would be nice just to stay away from the nine ball. If you have a shot running into the nine, then you could end up on the rail, maybe a little awkward angle. Tough on the eight. Yeah. I think her plan right from the start was to probably play the eight in the side in the top pocket. Yeah, we'll be shooting from next to the nine. It's not, she doesn't have much room there and that eight ball is not going to be a very comfortable shot either. And the hardest part is this cue ball is probably gonna end up on the rail. I mean, she probably just gonna stun forward just a little bit or she's gonna be jacked up on the nine. So it's kind of one of the two. Oh, and she, she hit that, hit that nine for, first. Yeah. I don't know if the referee, okay, I'm not going to call that shot, but it looked like the nine first. Yeah, I'm quite surprised that both ladies, if you look at the direction. Oh, no, she didn't. She did it? I don't know. That is. That was so close. Because if you look at the direction where the cue ball went after. Yeah, and where the nine went. Yeah. Oh, big stroke. Is she going to have a nice bump? Ooh, kind of the 50-yard line here. You know, it's always nice to be close to your work, but not, not this not close. <laughs> <laughs> and shooting with the bridge. Now, in snooker, this On is a nine very... Foot table. This is hard. In snooker, this is a very common thing, using the bridge very often. So I do trust her that she'll be fine using it. She's going to spin this in. Just like... go. Oh. Never mind. This is an opportunity that Margaret is going to have to take advantage of. Allison asking if Margaret wanted to use the bridge or not. I think she said, no, no, I got my extension. Hmm. Because most of the pool players, they're kind of scared of using the bridge. Uh, so. you think they don't practice with it. Yep. And everybody now has one, two, if not three extensions in their case. Oh, good shot. Slow Nicely down. done. And Slow this down. was that's a good shot. This was a very impressive actually to cut it with a hair of right spin. Looks really easy. It's not easy, especially on the new cloth. Yeah, and she might have to run this softly into the left side of the two. Yeah, this is a steep angle on the nine ball. So she's gonna have to get Maybe a little bit fortunate or try to draw out of it a little bit. Yeah, and like you said, bump the 10 down to the corner. Hit it soft. A little yep. bit of a thin shot. She, should be okay. manageable. She's okay. Or should be okay. Not trying to put any curses. Okay, one each. She's at least back in it, getting some momentum. 
Trying to get the stroke out a little bit. So do you believe, Tim, that the commentator curse is a real thing? No. I didn't think so either. No. A lot of people think it is. Yes. That we, like, we actually have control over what happens on the table. That I have control. Like, yeah. if I say a shot is unmissable, that now she gets this in her head, like, oh, my, I can miss the shot. No. Right. I mean, I mean, I don't even have control over my own game, let alone somebody else's. <laughs> yeah. You know, so I don't believe it. Yeah, I mean, it's... I think it's more funny saying, right? So, let's see. Margaret breaking. Would be nice to break and have an open shot. They've get they've been getting a lot of clusters and not really any run out chances after the break. Yeah, let's watch those three middle balls and see where they end up after this break because she's still breaking from the same exact spot. But let's see I would if like they still see stick there. Hit a little thicker. I agree. Okay, now it was thicker. You see that the ball spread a lot more. And the one went, oh, stay out of the way, well, two, three. Well, it needs to bump the two. Or stay going. out of the way. See, thicker. Still not super thick, but. Better. I mean, you can see the balls, at least they're not sticking to each other anymore. Either a super thin cut on the two, or she could play safe and try to snooker Allison behind that three ball. I like I like that better. I do too because I think the. Oh, what, by the or, way, or she's she, she might be banking this two. I mean, which I could understand. Missing the bank would be having a safety. Then you know on the other side, most of the time when I shoot that shot, I'm either going. Okay, if I go for the bank, I'm going full for the bank. Or if I want to play a save, then I play a really good save. 100%. Like, sometimes these kind of shots work out where you can get this, this shot covered. But in this case, you know that Ellis is most likely to play a good safety. Mm -hmm. Oh, if that hits a six, it's not good. So, opportunity for Margaret. Now slowly momentum is going towards Margaret's last, side though, yeah? Yeah, the last game and first half of this one. Ooh, wow. Pocket speed allowed that ball to go in. Any harder and that is still on the table. Hit that a little bit thick. the four to the five could be well actually if that five goes between the seven and ten then it is not so challenging but I don't know if there's a window obviously there, there is not a window there the, the five be, yep no I don't oh I don't think so I mean I was gonna say no but you never know unless you get that view Looks like she's queuing in the middle of the ball, so she's going to follow down and play the five in the side. Get a little further. Did she get far enough? I believe so. Mm -hmm. I think it's okay. The only thing is if you get a little bit too, too much on the high side of the six, you will run into the ten. You want to stay away to, from bumping balls in this case like to just go forward maybe three balls I think she's done yeah she's done well that here. looks good good angle to get to the seven and seven to get to the eight oh and she will have to yeah, she's got a nice angle here to go two rails up to the eight. She doesn't have to go all the way up table. Just get to the an bottom angle. side pocket in this view. Right where, the, back down. right where the line is for the kitchen. Yeah, right around in there. Where is she going? Oh, she's playing draw. Left. 
left herself really well. Is she on the rail though? No. Nope. Okay, and then now maybe play three rails. Go short rail, the right long rail, in this case top long rail, and then go in between the ten and the nine, and then bump off the short rail. Then you're always on the nine. I think that's how you play top right, or go to the center of the table and take the cut on the nine. I I I think that's where she's going. Yep, soft roll, center of the table. Yep, good call. Take the harder cut on the nine, ensure that you gotta ha have a shot. Yeah, the only thing is, if you have good cue ball control, then getting to where the cut is not mm -hmm. uncomfortable, yeah, you can do it. This now, is sometimes, you know, you get a little bit more cut, now you gotta travel more for the 10 ball, and then it's most of the time super awkward, and that's this where mistake comes from. This is a little steep. So she's probably going to try to get it to stop right by that left-hand side pocket and play the 10 in the same pocket. Oh, I would play a hair of right spin. Yeah, I agree. To throw the nine ball in. Yeah, she did too. Nicely done. Good speed. Beautiful. So takes the lead once again. Margaret Fevilova. If she makes a stem ball, of course. One. Margaret Fefilova Steyer. Also due to a high finish in one of those Pro Bid Series events, I think. It's not like she's had bad results, but I think she's good enough to get to a final or win one. For sure. She's been competing for a while, she's used to the condition, so I think she's due to yeah, get there. And she practices every single day. Well, that, that's the thing. If you, It's all about the actions. So what, what do you do to grow or be ready for your next tournament? Put yourself in that position. And then the other side is your attitude. How is your attitude around the table? How is it in your chair? How do you talk to yourself? You know, th those are the main things. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, they practice 20 hours a week, but then if their attitude is bad and they maybe lose two games, then they're Wait, done. A pool player with a bad attitude? I've never met one of those. Well, you met me. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so there's one. That's Tim DeRyder. Nah, I think I'm not that bad, but. You know, and that's the key, honestly, Tim. Y you know, and everybody knows that most pros are emotionless. They, they're not high, they're not low they stay calm you know and that's honestly the key to consistency well margaret can see the one obviously very clear but yeah what do you not, play here you can't play the bank shot because it's not going to go past the five so she could play the thin cut but oh no definitely not she di she did call the bank. I think I like to cut the one to the short rail and go long rail, just the long rail next to mm -hmm. the three, and maybe get the seven in between. I, I think, think this is a two-way shot here. Ooh. Yeah, didn't want to run think into she the was seven. She was mainly focused on getting the cue ball down table. I think the focus on this shot should have been making sure the one ball stays at the short rail. Giving Allison a really good opportunity to tie this up again. She wanted to get nice and straight on this three ball, draw it back about, well, not much at all. Almost a stop shot, given her angle to get to the five. Six pull ball, it back. I think the six ball does go in the corner where the nine ball is, so in that could, yeah, from here for sure. If she doesn't like to draw away from the six ball, then just go forward and 
play with some right spin and get to the center of play, the table. Play the longer shot on the five. No, you can go long rail and with the right spin you go to the center. And Just don't run into the six. Yeah, I like that. Well, don't end up to glue to the short rail. That could be an awful cut. Probably pull it back about two balls worth. Yeah, balls are yep. laying really nice here to make two each. One reel and out, play the eight right between the nine and the ten. Just try to take the place of where the seven is now. I think that would be okay. Get off the rail next to the seven. Oh, elected to play them both in the same pocket. Well, this did not really work out. No, she's steep on the ten or on the eight, and she's probably going to have to come around the nine ball. She will have to play either inside spin, left spin, to close the angle, or right spin to go really through the angles, two rails, and no kiss. I think she played inside spin. Yep, yeah, hit it smooth. Pull it back about a foot. And just when Margaret started to get some momentum going and starting to feel good. She allows Allison to catch up. Yeah, and she does. Because that's also the thing. If you're in your chair a little bit for a while, you feel that momentum is slipping away. To then run out, that's also quality. Indeed. All right, so we are all knotted up at two apiece. To each and yeah, like I said before, this could be a real close match and we might go to a deciding set here. This could easily go 4-2 for Allison and then 4-2 for Margaret. I think our viewers probably want to see that. I do. More pool is better. Yeah. All right, Allison set to break in rack number five of this second set. Yeah, just look at this arena. If you look at this arena, do you not get this this need to play pool? I do. Like I, it just starts to, yeah, drive me crazy. I get the need to practice more. Oh, it did hit that really thin though. But then again, she got cover on the one, so as long as you don't sell out after the break, you're mm -hmm. good. Leaving Margaret most likely with a push out. I am going to probably put it into the bottom right hand corner, right in that area, and leave her on the rail. Right about there. That's good. I am thinking about giving this back. I would. The only thing, well, maybe not. She could go, she could bank the one ball two rails down table behind the 10, 3, 5, and the cue ball with some right spin trying to get behind the four. But then also there is a very big margin of error. So I completely agree if Allison said, well, you know, I don't really feel this one. Go ahead. She already gave it back. Or is she banking just that one ball down table? Because that is... She could thin the thin the left side of the one. Yep, that's what she elected to do. Or oh, hit it a little hit full, but good. this is this is good speed. Did she oh get? Oh my! Is did there a window? Wow! Because she actually did hit that really good. She did. Just look how she thinned it, and also if that one ball ends up just behind the nine or just behind that four ball. Allison has no. I think it goes. Ooh. 
Oh, that is wow. so unlucky. And now, does that three ball go to the bottom right corner? I think it does. Nice and smooth, though. Perf she had, she perfect had, swing. Yeah, she had to throw it a little bit, not much. So, low left. Well, I don't think she has any option here. If she decides to make the three, she is going to run into that 10 ball one way or another. I don't know if she wants to leave it there or... Hmm. She might be able to play with top left spin, run into the 10, catch the bottom rail, and then still and then open up. up to the four. But it's super tough to say if she's going to hit that 10 ball just too thick or that she's going to cut it just right to do that. She's the one to judge that. Like, it's super tough to, to guess from the camera. And that's what a lot of the better players do when they know that they're going to run into another ball after pocketing it. They want to know which side that they're running into, where that cue ball is going to end up. Maybe she's stunning, and then, no. She Ooh, played it soft. She and it actually touched the seven a little. Oh, she's Just settled. a little nudge on the seven. She settled for a long four ball, and I do not like this at all. I don't think she's got it, too. It's close. I think she does. But you're right. I, I mean, this is lengthy. Yep, she has it. Just don't run into the six. Oh, we'll need one long shot more. I mean, the length of the table, and we'll have to draw back. It's a small angle, so she might also be getting close to the bottom side pocket here. Mm -hmm. Six ball doesn't go in the corner, so she's going forward. She's going to force it past the seven. Oh, wow, she's hit that is great. a beautiful shot. Well, and this is also, she's showing pure class here because she was down in the set 2-1. She knows... She doesn't want to go to that deciding set because then Margaret's is going to have a lot more momentum. And then to pull off these kind of shots. That, that, was, that was a gorgeous stroke on that five ball. She can elect probably to throw this seven in a little bit and leave the cue ball uh, at an angle to play the eight in the side or go all the way around and play it in the same pocket. Yep, that was the call. Yeah. Friendly friendly little bump on the 10. Well, Fortunate. She's not done yet. Nope. This is uh, still quite awkward. Have to cut the eight. Take a longer nine, and then still some traveling to do on the nine to the ten. Mm -hmm. the good thing, though, if she can get to the center of the table, she's relatively close to the nine. Now, is she playing forward <laughs> three I rails? I was just about to ask is you the same question. she going to play low right and <laughs> go two rails? Just about to ask you the same question. Or is she just going to drop the nine in She's and cut drawing. the ten? She's drawing it back. Well, she could kill the cue ball right there and cut the ten. Nope. I like the shot. Oh, Much she hit better. it perfect. Did she ever. Yeah, so she hit it great. And Allison Fisher is on the double hill. She is almost in that semifinal. And there's a really big prize money gap too. The loser of this match gets $3,250. While the winner of this match gets $5,000. And a chance to win even more. Second place is $10,000. The first, $17,000. So $1,800 spread in this game alone. Yeah. I mean, that's worth playing for. Uh, I would, yeah. Yeah. I think I'd try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
very focused. He's gonna break. Oh, is she going back to the center of the table? Or the left side, or right side, sorry. I'm oh, surprised she is. Because I'm surprised at this She too. has been not breaking square on the one ball from the side, and she goes back. She wasn't been having great results from the center. Let's see. And coming up dry. And leaving Margaret. Oh, that four might. That sets it up much easier for Margaret, too. Yeah, roll the one into the four, most likely to have it. You're bringing the cue ball back to the bottom long, uh, short rail as well. She hit that with a little bit of left hand draw. Solid, but the big thing is you don't want that one to follow the four ball in, and there's a good potential for that. Yeah. If, if, if you think it's going to happen, then you need to draw out of this so you have shape on the two. No, you, you have to take the, the risk here, I think. You play for the left side of the four real first, or like that you double kiss the four in. Don't fall in, don't. Oh, good oh, shot. She did it perfect. Really good yep. shot. Nice and control, good speed. Even though if she had hit it straighter in the face, then still she's, she's played such a good speed that that one ball was not gonna follow. And just like you called it, hit the left hand side of the four to make sure the one stays right where it is. Two rails and probably right between the three and the seven. Right there, catching the three. She's okay. Now she can just float and play the three in the upper left-hand corner. Yep. Yeah, I like that. Just okay, just okay to where she can still play with draw, set herself nicely up on the five, and then draw back for the six. She could play with topspin and a hair of right to play for the five in the side, or topspin left. I like she it. could go topspin left and go short yeah, rail, long rail. Yeah, I, I like that call. Would be an easier five ball after, a little bit more difficult on the, f on the three. So she chose to play a little bit more basic, but then now we'll have to play... It's a straight draw. Yeah, we'll always got to hit it smooth. And Just avoid the seven. This angle might be a little steeper than it, what it looks on our screen here. Nope, she's drawing. Yeah, second diamond on the long rail. Oh. She not super smooth. She didn't really smooth press all the cue to there, and she came up a little high on this six. Probably gonna go back and get her extension for her cue. She may have to, may have to bridge this one. She is. Well, and it's hard shot when you're down three to two. Yeah, and then also she has to avoid the ten ball. She has to go in between the ten and the seven bump the short rail and get back up for either the seven in the top right corner or the seven nine combo. Mm -hmm. But most of the time when you start to cut these balls, if you hit a little thinner, you run into the 10, now you get really tough on the seven. Oh, she's hit, hit the it cut. good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, very good. And left it really good for the seven. That was a good shot, especially using the bridge. Draw. Is she going to stop this or pull it into the eight? Oh. That's, oh, that's kind of what I was worried about because they were so close and the angle was going into the eight no matter what. So she's either going to have to find a good safe here because I don't believe she can cut this in the side. just gonna try and get the aid to the short rail oh that needs to go I think yeah she's left it on 
Mm. So it's just these three balls for Allison. It's a tough cut though, because she needs to hold the cue ball in center, around the center of the table. And there's a, I was gonna say, there's a, there was a potential of a scratch up of the nine as well. So, and uh, Allison did leave Margaret a little piece of the safe ball, so she can actually thin this on the left hand side. Yeah, this is the battle of nicking the eight. <laughs> if you can get the ten completely in between, then big chance to win the game most of the time. Margaret wanna li wants to leave Allison with the exact same shot as what she's given her. Behind the 10, perfect speed. No, I think it came out. Yeah, that eight ball that does, does go, and the only thing Allison's got to do is roll it in. Yep, she it's has guaranteed a shot. to be on the nine. Don't force this. Make sure you make it. That's, that's the only thing. A little soft roll. I believe that may be the end of this match. Yeah, you would have to favor Allison to get there. You never know, though, so let's don't be too too optimistic. Presumptuous. No, <laughs> Allison has played a hell of a match here. A couple weird mistakes, like she played position on the wrong shot and stuff. But she's she's pulled through. She's been making a lot of tough shots, good positional play. And Margaret, yeah, I think she just struggled here and there in pieces. A couple of on opportunities gone by. I'm sure she'll be back. So this 10 ball to get to the semi-final. Allison Fisher, the Duchess of Doom. Does it again. Yeah, she goes through to the semi-final. And Margaret Fevilova's tire is out. But I'm sure we will see her at her next event. Indeed. So this was our last match for today. We would love to see you tomorrow, I guess, around 10 a.m., 10.30 a.m. We will be back with the semifinals of the Women's Open. This was Dale Lawrence. Thank you, Dale. And Thank myself, you for having me yet again, Tim. And myself, Tim De Ruiter. And, uh, yeah, well, good night. See you, everybody. See you tomorrow.